hello friends welcome to today's video so today we will see how to complete the physics part of AI etc as well as AO in the fastest way possible you know in physics as I have also discussed in the previous video many of the are directly from the definitions and second is they are asking the equations and the third is the applications part so many of you have requested to make a video on this since the time is very less so I am giving you a shortcut as to how you can complete the syllabus in fastest way and cover. You have to refer NCERT class 12 and class 11 books. Give priority to class 12. You can download these books from the NCERT website. For the link it is there in the description as well as in the comment. So what you do is any chapter go to each equation and each formula. Then in that you do what you do is you try to understand the each and every term what is the definition of that term let's say v is equal to ir then v is voltage i is current r is resistance so likewise we do this for each and every equation which is there including the optics including the em waves including the dual nature of particles all those topics you cover each and every chapter go to each and every equation and remember what the term is saying that is the first step Likewise with the formulas, you remember all the formulas, so that will be helpful. Next is, if you go to the NCRT books, you know, you will find that they have given some of the important things in a tabular form. Refer to those tables. I will show you how it is there. Okay. Next is, at the end of the book, there is a summary of each chapter that is given. So, let's say I have taken this from the EM wave chapter of the class 12. 108 so they have clearly given the summary of all the maxwell equations in the vacuum so here in this like this is the gauss law for electricity this is the gauss law for magnetism Faraday's law ampere maxwell law so here each term what it says you just identify area charge so all these things how this is related to each thing permeability this is the displacement current and how the change in electronic electric field is giving rise to magnetic field you have to understand each and every term and one more thing you remember is always try to read the equations in standard form here is a standard form here it will also tell you the dot product and the directions also so this is important so in every chapter such type of tabular columns are given so like in the same em wave chapter you know there is one this diagram is given with respect to frequencies and which rays are belonging to which what is the frequency of them this spectrum em spectrum is very important at least one question will come from this so we'll also know the what are the colors and what are the ranges wavelength is there frequency is there you understand how it starts and how it ends this will help you they can ask you which frequency or which wavelength is the smallest which is the where is the visible light falling what is the range of that so always try to comprehend such type of diagrams or whatever they have given just concentrate on them decode this as fast as possible if you go to the same chapter they have given a tabular form of how these different type of electromagnetic waves are what is their type and what is the production and how they can be detected so straight away questions can be formed from this how to generate microwave waves the answer is cristron wave or magnetron well so how the ultraviolet waves can be generated from the inertia and atoms moving from one energy level to another energy level so these are all mcqs how the x-rays are generated x-ray tubes are the inner shell of electrons so how they can be detected so light can be detected by using eyes photo cells and photographic films so this is the way all the summer you can complete all the summary from this tabular form just to sit and try to evaluate each and everything so that your revision will also be completed and at the same time you will be in a better position because you are trying to understand the concept and linking each thing with the other things you know, at the end of this chapter if you go to the summary they have very clearly given some important points these points are very good you know in the last chapter was what is the displacement current who was suggested maxwell was the maxwell suggested so here they have clearly given so what was the inconsistency in ampere law who told then maxwell found it so this is the answer 
so how this displacement current is due to the time varying electric field and it is given by so the equation is also given here likewise what produces electromagnetic wave this is also last year question if you see electric like accelerating charges the speed of electromagnetic wave in vacuum is this one what if it is in medium you just replace mu and epsilon that is sufficient speed of light in material medium as i said replace mu not and e not with mu and e so how these electromagnetic waves carry energy as they travel through space and this is shared equally by electric and magnetic fields so this is one question in an em wave what are the components of electromagnetic wave and how are they shared both electric and magnetic fields carry so this is giving a summary this is so this is how you know on, in every chapter of this book they are given tabular forms they are given equations equations formulas and summary these are really important just concentrate on these summary is a more critical you know directly you will get a summary of the chapter and it already things you are missing so this is important first concept of summary then you can go in with so this you can download from the ncrt website and you can extract the summary and then you can read it so that it will be a quick revision and also you will be in a better position to understand what all you know and what you don't so if you have liked the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you for watching